Hello everyone. This is going to be part four of my Valentine's design composition. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create these lovely angel wings. Um, I hope I'm not wasting time by just uploading these videos. <coughs> I hope someone's enjoying them out there and if you are please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos. Let's get started by going to my demo canvas. I'm working on a 13,500 by 13,500 pixel canvas and I have the background of the angel wings for reference. Let me just point out that this is going to be very similar to my previous video where we used the um, pen and path tool to create the shapes of the glow lights but this time we're going to fill it as well as stroke it and if you're lucky enough to have like a Wacom ta or tablet you know, a stylus. Uh, you can always use that to uh, draw these shapes free-handed. But if you don't, I'm going to show you how to create it using a mouse. And it's going to be a very tedious and cumbersome process. So I hope you can bear with me. And in parts of the videos, I'm going to actually skip it and fast forward. Uh, I'm just basically going to cut it out because many of the steps are going to be re repeated. And I'm just going to point out the major points where you're going to have to transition. So let's get started and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm actually going to select the pen tool and I'm going to select paths. I already have my uh, color set to black and white. If I press the X key, we're going to use white. If I press the X key again, I'm going to change it black. And first I think we need to set up the brush. So I'm just going to create a path and what I'm going to do is press B for brush and I have the brush set at 180 pixels with hardness of 0 but you can actually change this according to your preference and I'm going to select the uh, path selection tool and I'm going to right click and stroke the path the reason why we we're doing this step is because we need to actually set up the settings for the stroking the path so you want to use brush and click on the checkbox of the simulate pressure and press OK. And I'm going to actually delete the path and delete the layer. Uh, that was only used to actually set up the settings for the stroke. Now I'm going to create a new layer. And the basic shape that we're going to create is actually like a trapezoid but I'm going to call it a triangle and the reason is because uh, you'll see why. I'm going to drag out the path from the top and then close the shape and the reason why I say is a triangle is because we have a long triangle right here on the bottom and a smaller triangle on top and that's going to be the basic shape of the feather so we're going to go to the path menu and we're actually going to uh, fill it and stroke it from here and this is going to be the fill button and this is going to be the stroke button and I'm going to use white to fill the path and then I'm going to use black to stroke it and let me just go back and hide so you can see what uh, the basic shape of the feather looks like I'm just going to turn this back on and I'm going to go to the path tool, path menu. And what I'm going to do is actually duplicate the path. So, like so. And what I'm going to do is press Ctrl T for transform. And I'm actually going to just move the feather a little bit to the left. So this is going to be like the second feather. Press enter. And again, I'm going to press X for the white and I'm going to fill it and then press X for the black and then stroke it and then again I'm going to duplicate this layer I'm going to duplicate this path and then again I'm going to move it to the left and then again I'm going to repeat the process S fill, stroke then I'm going to do that again
again this uh, process is going to be repeated many times and I'm actually going to change the shapes a little bit of the feather by using the transform tool maybe I want to increase the size a little bit and change the angle oops I want to use white to fill and black and I'm gonna cut out over here and then I'm gonna start my video in the next segment uh, so basically what I did was actually finish the first layer uh, first row of feathers and it's in the first layer and let me just hide the background so you can tell what's going on so as you can see the first layer of feathers has actually been created and I'm gonna actually create a new layer and I'm gonna move this layer to the bottom and this is gonna be the second row of feathers and the reason why we wanna use uh, move the layer to the bottom is because we want the first layer to be on top of the uh, bottom feathers so I'm gonna go to my path and I already actually created the path so I'm just gonna actually fill them and stroke them And I'm actually what I'm actually doing is um, changing the path a little bit. I, I know you can't see here, but I've actually changed the path a little bit to give it a little bit uh, increase the size. And it's really subtle changes because the basic sh uh, shape of the feather is going to be the same. Oops. and what you want to do is actually I uh, see how I have the strokes actually the same size um, you want to actually decrease the sh uh, shapes of the stroke size of the stroke right he right here and actually increase the size of the stroke but I'm actually going to just leave it as it is because I want to do this really quickly and again I completed the second uh, row of feathers and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to move this to the bottom and this is going to be my, be my third row of feathers so again white black and this is just the basic process of how you're going to uh, create your feathers or wings and actually this took me a very long time to actually create it but create the path oops luckily I have this saved so I don't have to create the uh, paths again and again this is going to be another row move it to the bottom again if you want you can um, actually change the strokes to a smaller stroke over here and larger strokes over here but I'm not going to do that to save time oops I already made a mistake let me go to my history panel history I want to start from here and 
you see it's on a new layer, it should be on a new layer because it's going to be underneath. So I'm going to create a new layer and again move down and I'm going to repeat the process. Uh, this is why I said this is going to be a very tedious and again a new layer So this is what I have so far. So we're almost done. And this next step is going to be very important, so pay attention carefully. Uh, what I did was create a path for the top of the wings. And this is basically a closed path. And I named it, named it the fill path. And what I did was duplicate it and delete some of the bottom of the path for the stroke path. Uh, the reason why I did this was because if I use the top, the fill path, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a line right here in black, which is not what I want. I just want the stroke to be on the top, like so. So let me go to my layers panel. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to my paths panel and I'm going to select the fill path and I'm going to select white fill the path go to my layers panel and I'm going to move that layer to the second topmost layer then as you can see there's some transparent uh, background uh, you want to use white to fill it use the brush tool so I'm just filling the transparent parts with uh, white Next, I'm going to go to my path tool. I'm going to go to the stroke path. And again, uh, the bottom parts of the path are deleted right here. And I'm going to stroke it with black. Then I'm going to go to my fill path. And I'm going to make it into a selection. Then go to my layers and I'm going to go to the very top layer and I'm going to oops I'm going to use white and I'm going to brush some of the feathers so it doesn't have a closed point And if you want actually a softer look without a, um, you can actually just go ahead and use a brush tool without the selection selected. Go ahead and uh, give give it a much softer look. And that's basically how you create the wings.